Good morning everyone and welcome on board for our journey in and out the new Alfa Romeo Tonale. I'm Alessandro Maccolini from the Centro Stile Alfa Romeo and I welcome you to this first laboratorio dedicated to design. My presentation starts from the Museo Storico Alfa Romeo, a place rich in history and beauty. This is why I can't help but refer to one of the most loved and quoted claims that have marked the history of our brand. La bellezza necessaria, the necessary beauty. This statement expresses the authentic soul of Alfa Romeo, thanks to its double meaning. On the one hand, it affirms that in an Alfa Romeo, beauty and functionality must blend and respect each other to work in perfect synergy. This is a more mechanical, quantitative reading, a lesson we have learned very well with the GTA. And on the other hand, it shows us the most passionate side, where the human spirit aims to surround itself with beautiful things. Let's now discover the style of the new Alfa Romeo Tonale. The car body stands out for its dynamic, agile, lean appearance. Let's find out its main ingredients, starting with the side view and its key element, what we call the GT line. This sharp line runs from the front to the rear headlights, overlapping the belt line. Just one line that rigorously defines the attitude of the car and the directionality of the car body itself. The GT line and the character line immediately below generate a dynamic volume in the upper part, while in the lower part, modeling and treatments underline surfaces that connect with the wheel arches. The three-dimensionality of the surfaces create an alternation of light and shadow that give life and add sensuality to the side. So, here are an example of how the side section of cars with full and three-dimensional volumes, such as the Duetto or the Giulietta SS, when applied to an SUV, project us into a future dimension. Let's focus on the front now. First of all, let's talk about the lighting signature of the projectors. The type of projector we call 3 plus 3 is clearly visible in this drawing. This layout brings us back to our heritage, to iconic cars such as the SZ or the Proteo concept, but also to more recent cars such as the Brera. This lighting signature appears as a kind of propagation of the distinctive sign which belongs exclusively to Alfa Romeo, the Scudetto. The shield that, together with the too many intakes, uh, form the Trilobo. The lighting signature strongly characterizes the rear of the car too and is contained within a well-defined volume. This volume is characterized by accentuated shoulders that support the rounder rear window together with the C-pillar. The headlights are the most remarkable feature of the upper volume also on the rear. They cross the entire car and integrate the logo in the center. Very thin in eye and rich in three-dimensionality, they make the tonale immediately recognizable and when they light up, they remember the trace left from the natural gesture of end. Okay, we talked extensively about front and rear light clusters from a stylistic point of view. Let's see them at work now. The front features a full LED technology with matrix modules. At the rear, we find this long light stripe with the main functions and specific animation underlining the switching on and off of the car. Let's talk about another key element now. In this slide, you can see the evolution of the wheel, generation after generation. See how the telephone dialer concept has come down to today with these 19 and 20 inch wheels. They announce circular holes as an element of style and of the research of lightness and extreme sportiness. Let's get into the car now. On an Alfa Romeo, the exterior design express beauty, balance and strength while the interiors communicate maximum driving pleasure. Here, the priority is to put the driver at the center. This means guaranteeing an integrated, precise technology that works in the right way and the right time through our TFT cluster, our cannocchiale, and the touch screen while placed in the dashboard. A perfect driving position, a perfect grip, thanks to an optimal steering wheel, 
and therefore be sure that the sensations, the control of the car, are as direct, precise and transparent, genuine as possible. Fully dedicated to the driver, we find the cannocchiale. Essential, refined, precise. This component is placed on the simple, clean lines of the dashboard volumes. The central display and the main keyboard below offer a perfect interface for both the driver and the passenger, operating in a simple, intuitive and immediate way. The steering wheel, through which uh, the car is managed in its software and hardware parts, allows the control and the personalization of the canocchiale, of the multifunctional instrument panel and the radio. It represents the direct control of the driver on the car and features a precious command to enjoy a unique driving experience, the aluminum gear shift paddle. The seat must offer an highly comfortable driving position with a good level of containment. Let me take a closer look at the canocchiale. It is possible to configure it in a different ways from full screen navigator to evolution mode to widget customization but all of these would have been standard, too cold, and they belong to that genetic code I told you about at the beginning. We then decided to create a configuration that mixed the story that I have told you, with the technological level of which the tonale is characterized. Thanks to the extreme definition of our canocchiale, we decided to give tonale a screen that only Alfa Romeo could have designed. We have created this heritage design which immediately takes us to the deepest nature of Alfa Romeo, to race and competition where the numbers of the scale of the instrument were placed readily to allow to be rotated in the correct position to have the RPM range perfectly visible. This solution transferred to the street legal models as uh, two cars fantastic as the GT Junior or the Giulia Super you can see in this image requires the rotation of the first and last numbers of the graduated scale. I thank you for your attention. I leave you to the next workshops told from my travel companions. Grazie mille.